guys, when did I leave? What just happened? All of a sudden I looked up and it said I was offline. I was answering. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, that was really weird. It literally just, hey, it might have been. That might have been Michael Jackson just coming in and being mad that I didn't remember that today was the day of his death. Oh my gosh, well, welcome back. <laughs> Everyone on YouTube, you're just going to see the start part, so you're just going to miss that whole intro. What can you do? Um, we're doing a painting we've already done before. <laughs> I'm wearing a glove because I got my tattoos touched up today. Yay! <laughs> okay. Oh, that's really funny. Um, did I, like, did you hear me talk about Michael Jackson at all, or did I stop before that? That was really weird. Okay. Hello, friend. What great, what a great username. Hello, friend. It's stopped before, hey, oh my gosh, I literally just went on about Michael Jackson for however long I was offline for a second there, guys. <laughs> okay. My apologies. Happy birthday to Hayden again. Full circle, you guys. What else did I miss? Um, if you've painted this before, <laughs> you could paint it in other colors. And that's about it. I think you guys will know what's up. It's the usual. We've. I'm going to teach you guys the basic, straightforward, most straightforward way of doing this painting. And then you can push it as far as you want. <laughs> this glove makes me laugh. Um, as far as you want when it comes to detail. We're not starting with any pencils or anything today. We're going straight to paint because we're basically just going to paint this whole background the sky color. And then the black was on top. It's kind of a quicker painting, which is pretty cool. Um, what else do I got? That's about it. Please let me know. Ask questions. If you have any along the way, you'll be helping out people at home. We don't have as many people with us today, it seems here, but that's okay. We will have a nice private class today. And what time is it? Did I, yeah. It is around 10 after 8, so we can get going. That paintbrush needs some love. Okay. So we can start with a big brush. Ooh, is my black hand going to be hard? I'll have to do this one. A big brush. It can be pointed. It can be... A rectangle if you want. Sometimes these block ones are good. And we're gonna start with red and yellow on our palettes. Um, you can, oh, give me one millisecond. Did you hear my doorbell? <laughs> I think Dan's gonna get it. I was just about to start, so, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out some yellow and some red, okay? Easy peasy. Whew. And red. Sorry, give me one second. <laughs> sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry guys. Okay. Okay, okay. We're just going for it guys. Look at me, just frazzled as usual. Story of my life. And if you don't have orange, that's okay because blue, red, and yellow make orange. But for some of us who might want to take some orange out, it might help a little bit with the blending of the colors. <clears throat> and it's going to be a little bit different than what we usually do because we're not going to do that watery, chocolate milky consistency of paint that we usually do. We want nice thick paint. We want to fill up the whole background. We want nice bright colors, but we do still want a little bit of water on our brush. And we are gonna start with yellow, okay? Just a little bit of water on your brush, but mostly 
paint. And the first line that you're gonna lay down is just where we're gonna think that horizon line should go, right? So where the water meets the sky, and you're gonna kind of go a little bit over middle, okay? And just a light line across the side. It's okay if it's not straight. It's okay if it's a little bit messy. It's a little lopsided. It's just a good place for us to see. Oh, Jenny and Jersey, hello. You guys weren't here when we did this one last time, right? So is this new to you too? I hope. Or maybe I'm wrong. Were you guys here last time? No, I forgot. Ah, oh, good, okay. All right, we got that line. We've got lots of paint on our paintbrushes. And we're just gonna start slobbing some paint on. It's, take a breath, no worries. It's not gonna be stressful. And there's no way to mess this up right now, okay? With a nice amount of paint and water on our brush, we are just gonna start slobbing on, okay? And I'm being conscious of my brush strokes. I'm always going left to right, left to right. Right? And you can even go a little bit down beneath it as well. Slob it on that paint. Here's a good way for me to show you an example. So when there's not a lot of water on your brush, this is the effect that you're gonna get right here. Ooh, I hope we can see it. Come on, come on, come on. See how it's kind of like sandpaper here, but then here it's nice and smooth and solid. So that's the difference. The top means it's dry, not enough water on your brush, and the bottom is thicker. I mean, more wet. <laughs> I just read a text and it led me astray. Okay. And we are just gonna keep doing that. But now what's different than what we usually do? We don't really want this to dry. We're gonna go into our orange or we're gonna mix a little bit of red and yellow together to make orange, depending on what your situation is. And we're gonna come a little bit of the ways in, not all the way, remember our, uh, <laughs> our sun is not centered, it's a little bit over. So we're gonna bring this orange and we're just gonna start also blending it into the yellow. We want it to be wet, we want the yellow to be wet so it kind of helps us blend it in a little bit. And your um, towel, or whatever this is called, uh, your rag, your paper towel, whatever, is um, very helpful in this step because you can wipe off some of the orange if the yellow is blending in it too much, clean it up a little bit. And we're basically gonna do this all the way around on this side too. And if your yellow's dried a little bit, then you can go in with more just yellow on your brush. You'll wipe your brush off and make sure it's clean. Go back into just the yellow to pull it over a little bit. Beep, beep. How's that feeling, you guys? Way different than what we usually do, hey? If there are sharp lines in your sky, if you feel like the blend isn't working so well, um, you can even go in with, oops, I should show you before. One second, I'm just gonna bring this orange down too. And you kind of want the bottom to, sorry, mock the top because it's the reflection, right? The bottom is the reflection of the top half in the water. but. If, like I was saying before, if you want to smooth out those lines with just a clean brush, like there's no paint on here, it's a clean brush, you're just going to get it a little wet. And with that wet brush, you can go in and kind of softly kind of buff out some lines that you think are a little too harsh. If you don't like them, of course, if you like them, then keep them. And we're keeping going with the colors. What did you say? Oh, 
how's it going everybody blending is a lot more fun i mean not fun it's just a lot of just it is fun but it's a lot of just playing around with the paint tweaking it pushing it around adding more water taking less water out adding more paint and it's just kind of fun therapeutic part of it don't take it too stressful oh, i just realized ah whatever the lighting's fine in here Like, oops, I don't really like that. So I'm gonna go in with a clean brush quick and kind of peel away some of that orange. And you guessed it, you guys, we're gonna be doing this with red as well. Let's just continue. And same idea, we want some water on our brush, but we do want a lot of paint on there. We're gonna come in on the side and we're gonna do the same thing. If your orange is dry, you just add some more orange on top. I'll show you that part too. And we're just pulling it across, still going left to right, because that's important. My doorbell is probably gonna ring again. <laughs> It's a day today, folks. And I feel like I'm just coming to, I have to get a better schedule on. I have to go on Sundays, tell you guys what we're painting throughout the week, because I'm just telling you guys the day before, and that's just irresponsible of me. My paint's just not happy today. And a little bit more water on the side there. Alrighty. I ran out of orange already. See, like, I have a little bit too much water in mind. Do you see how this is dripped down like that? That's just lots of water. Which doesn't necessarily mean a good thing. Back in there, damage control. <laughs> All right, what else are we talk about, guys? I feel like it's a quiet day today. Mm. We are coming up to a new time on my channel. I love the paint nights, but I can't do them as many just because they're a little bit longer. There's a lot of before and after work, not just the live work. I'm currently working on a huge project. It's about 30 paintings in total. And they're big paintings, like 36 by 36 inches. So they're really big. And they take me Um, still NDA'd. Uh, it's not a fully, it's not fully NDA'd. I do, I am keeping it a little bit secret just for, um, just until the end of July. So don't worry, you guys. We got, I got just a month. I have been sharing a lot of the process on my story. Z on Instagram. Everything else is kind of on hold a little bit while those... The first half of the deadline is um, 
what you call it. Like I said, end of July. So after that, all the details will be out for you. So remember your rag is always your friend. You can also use it to just wipe some stuff away if you want. Some happy little accidents. <laughs> Why did I think I would, it'd be easier for me to do it because we did it already once, but now I'm forgetting how to paint it, you guys. So it's just like usual, we're figuring out how to paint it together, that's fine. As I like sweat in here. <laughs> We are also for sure going to be doing a couple things different because I know a lot of people got frustrated at some parts of the paint night, which was is good for me moving forward because then I know what steps, uh, what is what steps sent people over the edge. <laughs> That's kidding. It wasn't over the edge. It wasn't that dramatic. Um, So we've got the red coming into the orange, coming into the yellow. I'm using just a wet, a wet paintbrush right now. There's no paint on it. I'm just going on top of the paint that's already there to just kind of blend out some of those lines. But I guess I can talk about the job again, Dresden. It is a local job here in Calgary and it's a building that's getting built, has commissioned me to fill some walls. That's the best way for me to go about it. And here, yeah, I'm just keeping going over. You guys aren't saying anything, so I'm assuming you're just having fun blending away too. This should just be a fun part. It is very beautiful where I live right now outside. It's super hot. So I feel like a lot of my local pals were all outside. I don't know about your guys' cities, but we always try to, right when there's a smidgen of heat, we like to pretend like it's summer and everybody's outside. And now we finally actually have hot weather. Hot for us. Sounds like a great gig. 30 paintings that are how big? 36 by 36 inches, you guys. They're big boys, bigger than me. And so half of them are due at the end of July. So I'm working on, I guess, 15, but it's easy for me to work on many at one time so that they all look in unison or look like a, like they're belong together, right? Look like a series. Cause I change how I paint all the time. Like depending on my mood, depending on the day, I paint differently, so. <laughs> It's more help. It's better for me to do them all at one time. And also the second half is going to look like a different series than the first. <laughs> and again, I guess I should obviously point out, I love not painting to the sides. <laughs> I like to give a little bit of a brushed edge to it, but some like on this one, we did all the way to the edge, right? So it is completely up to you what you would rather do. I just thought a little brushy look might be cool. Except for I'm kind of fan, I almost went all the way over on this side, not on this side. What can you do? Also, I guess, wait, you, there's some Americans I miss in here too. It's a lot different in the States right now too. Oh, Kenzie, look you guys, we've got a peanut gallery now. I need your help. Southern California, is it hot? Oh, you guys are okay, your degrees are different. Okay, so in, it is 24 degrees here. So in the States, what is that? Who knows a good conversion? And 32 degrees in my apartment. Believe that. Believe that. <laughs> 
Kenzie's not lying. It is so hot in here. <laughs> so hot. Okay, how are we doing? 75.2. So is that considered hot to you guys? Is that a hot temperature? I don't understand. Not at all. <laughs> See, for us, it's like, it's hot. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. But anyway, Kenzie, sorry, there's just, there's more people painting than talking today. And you know how I am. I'm not good at talking to myself. <laughs> All right, I'm just going back in with yellow just to bring some of that spot. 24 in Celsius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I assume. So 75.2 is what it is for us right now here to you. To you. <laughs> we uh, are like lucky to have like weather like this every once in a while maybe it's been raining a lot we get hail like there was like golf ball sized hail in our city like a couple weeks ago which is insane just destroying the back like whatever back uh, windows of cars windshields of cars houses the rain and sun has made my garden flourish the last couple days well there you go see that's a positive that's a positive oops what am i doing see i gotta bring i still have those plants that are supposed to be outside and they're inside is that bad <laughs> to keep outdoor plants inside maybe I'll never forget Kenzie, she's one of my plant pals, but she's way more savvy with plants than I am. And we both have fiddle leaf figs. And, uh, fiddle leaf figs? That's what they're called, right? A fiddle leaf fig? And, um, Kenzie told me one thing she learned that you're supposed to, like, what you call them, um, give them like a shake or like a little yeah give them a shake so that they're like feel like they're outside getting pushed by the breeze and i thought that was so cute and hilarious and i did never do that <laughs> at all <laughs> all right so we've got some orange in there we've got some yellow in there you can even with just a really lots of water on your brush do a light Lots of water, I mean, and not a lot of paint on your brush. Do a light little brush over top. This is a very freestyle-y time for you to do whatever you feel is best to get a nice red to orange to yellow gradient. And working, like I said, working wet on wet is probably gonna be your best, um, is gonna be your best bet. Best friend water will uh, help you blend some things together. Do you bandage your finger tattoos or just let them be? We just let them be. She always just gives me a glove. Um, Cause my own sweat isn't bad, but it would be like if I sweat and like other stuff get into it. Um, but I change the gloves often. <laughs> she did a really good job. I don't know if the camera died before I showed you guys last time. Oh yeah, she's sweaty in there already, but Look at how cute, oh, oh shoot. Come back, come back, come this way. Look how cute that little siren is. She did such a good job. Oh, I won't even zoom in, but. She did such a good job. Oh no, can I get this glove back on her? Eh. <laughs> oh. Hello, Joe Kaiser. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We've, uh, I've been so bad at, uh, at warning you guys about what we're going to be painting. So it's my fault that nobody's being, 
that people aren't knowing what we're painting earlier so they don't show up. Um, no, Joe, we're doing it again. We're doing it again. Because a lot of people missed it and it wasn't recorded last time. I can't get this micro glove on. You're staying for the relaxing pain simulator gameplay. You know what? That's what, that's, that's what I live for. You follow us who don't pay long, but you just stay with the popcorn. Thank you. I appreciate it. Because like I said, if you guys don't talk at me. I just turn into my like awkward little like, mm. <laughs> what should I talk about? <laughs> okay. How's those blends going, people? I haven't heard from the painters a lot lately, so I'm just kind of going around. I'm just going to feel like you are good to go. Let's add some yellow in here. Just I'm just touching this up. <laughs> it's an exciting stream today, you guys. Have you ever heard my doorbell bell ever? And I hear it twice? I know. <laughs> I'm a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> but my lovely Daniel will save the day. I know, it's weird. I feel like people used to not come... To, like, the one was an Amazon guy, and for the longest time, delivery people would just drop off at your door. They wouldn't knock or anything. It was, like, contactless. You would just, like, be like, oh, there's a package. But I guess today he uh, rang the doorbell. It's okay if you guys paint it over this middle line, too. Like, we are going to be painting black there, so it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. And we're just gonna... I'm just gonna start... We have to basically let this dry before we can do much else. But I'm pretty sure the next step is we're gonna do some clouds. We're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I remember last time someone was saying that they kind of lost their yellow. It kind of blended out a little too much and they lost this yellow in the middle. And that's as easy as waiting for it to dry and we'll go back over with just pure yellow. What is this? Right back in the middle. I'll do it again because I'm kind of having that problem right now. But we're conscious that we're going to have our little sun over here. And we can even, if you can do this, don't worry about it. I would only suggest doing it if you are using a canvas. I would not suggest it on like a paper or anything. But you can dip your rag or whatever you've got in your hand with a little just dip the tip. And you can basically go in there and kind of scrub out where you want that sun to go. It's totally okay if, whoop, whoop, whoop. like see how it kind of gives like a cool, you can still see some, uh, the camera's not even gonna show you. Hi, Mr. Are you haven't been on caffeine for a while? Hello, Faze Mac. It has been a long time, hey? That is all right. Life gets busy. Good to see you back. <laughs> We're just painting a sunset today. What I was saying about the sun though, guys, if you can't rub it away, if it seems weird, literally painting white over top, that would be totally fine, okay? <laughs> but is our sun coming together? The same thing is happening as last time, um, is it looks way more blotchy on the camera to you than it does to my face, which is weird. I don't know why that happens, but um, since this is gonna be water, it's not a huge deal. Um, you're trying to free draw like you, but you've got mad didn't draw anything. Faith, you gotta go to my YouTube channel and you gotta try, hmm, who would be, what would be a good one to start with? The 
the hummingbird maybe, or like the bumblebee is a good one. I promise, you could do it. I promise. Guys, once I took the glove off, and my hand was so sweaty, I just can't, I hardly can get it back on. <laughs> Dan, why down? That's crazy. Oh my god. So face stuck to singing. Hey, I can't sing for the life of me, so I'm amazed by your talent as well. Okay you guys, do we have a sky? Do you have a thing? Hey Sarah! Do you have a sky? We've got some red to orange to yellow. My apologies for my uh Unprofessionalism today. <laughs> um, it's beautiful, Joe. You. Thanks. <laughs> so, face as a one year old in choir. Ooh. Okay, cool. We've got yellow, we've got red, we've got orange. Tomorrow is Friday. Do you work tomorrow? No. Yes? No. Okay. You do. But it is the weekend. So that's exciting. Okay, you guys. No, not the weekend. The start of the weekend. Um, we are going to get to some clouds in the sky and we are going to need black, white and a touch of blue but blue is not that necessary if you don't want to put blue in there or if you don't have blue but if you guys are still blending away keep blending away that's very fine like I was telling before if you guys if you need to fix parts I need to go get some new paintbrushes I think you don't know why you're excited about Fridays when you don't do anything anymore? It's because you don't have to work, and that's all that, that's enough to be excited. Um, remember how I told you guys if your, your yellow wasn't working in there, or if you feel like you lost it a little bit? Like, I have just pure yellow on my brush right now with a little bit of water, and you can go over top some of those spots, maybe like around your sun or something, you can, Reverse blend it the other way. I wasn't lying when I said you can't make a problem. Uh, Faze has a phone meeting tomorrow for your art call, for your classes at college. Well, that's exciting. Sticking with the routine. COVID life is right. I always laugh because realistically, you guys, COVID didn't really... I very rarely leave my house anyway. But if you guys would all like to know, I was tested for an asymptomatic COVID test and I came back negative. So your mom is COVID free. Hopefully still. <laughs> Hopefully it hasn't changed since. <laughs> okay guys, for like 30, 40 minutes, we've just been sloshing paint around. How does it feel? It's a lot different than our intricate drawing a picture, hey? How many years have I been drawing? Hey, that's a, that's a tough one. Realistically, as long as I could hold a pencil, I have been drawing, doodling, painting, the works. But I, it has been my full-time job for five, almost six years now. Which is pretty crazy to think about. But I started as a drawer and now I am a heavily, heavily a painter. Heavily, heavily. Oh, <laughs> they're the best. Let's see guys, see how putting that yellow in there just kind of blended it out a little bit more? So... 
What we've got to do first is like I was just saying, oh yeah, Japanese. See, it was a good thing he came to Brummy Sour Patch Kids, guys. He's the best. Um, we need white. My white's over here. It looks so cool and awesome. Thank you. I hope the people at home are happy with how they're going too. And you guys watching this YouTube, this long way YouTube video that I've just been running around with my head chopped off on. <laughs> We've got some white in there, right? And we need a little bit of black, but like literally the tiniest amount of black at this point. We might need to take a little bit more out later, but black is very powerful and it's very common for people to take too much out on their palette and waste a bunch of it. Me, all the time. <laughs> Literally every single day of my life. Okay, a little bit of black in there. It's very powerful. You had art class in senior and you made a mug with your whole family on it. Or on it, or you and your whole family made mugs. Those are two very different things. Okay. What do we got here, you guys? We had a nice blended sky. Is it dry? Is Are we happy with where we're at? Do we have any questions about these weird blends we've got going on? I'm just like looking at the other one. It's awesome. Thanks. Let's go for it then. We are gonna go to the sun first, okay? I'm using a small, oops, I'm not my that hand, this hand. A smaller brush than we were using before. Pointed might help. And the first thing you're gonna do is with whites, you're just gonna fill in lightly in your sun. It's okay if, this is mostly if people couldn't rub it away like we did before. It's okay if you use a little bit of water in there so that it blends out a little, or it's a little bit translucent. You can see some of the colors underneath. Boop. And then, because that should be just a second, that's nothing, you don't have to take it too precious, that's okay. We're gonna go into some clouds, okay? You're gonna take a tiny touch of yellow into that white. Hello, Infinite Silver. Do you like my glove? <laughs> okay, we are going to put a little bit of yellow in that way. Oh, I didn't even see your comment down there. Hello, Infinite Silver. How are you? I only saw the wall up there. Okay. So we just put like the tiniest, I guess now the black glove will help. We just put a tiny bit of yellow in there. You can hardly even tell it just looks white. Tiny touch of yellow. And we're gonna make some of these clouds, okay? And you're gonna wanna bring it right over the sun. And you're gonna want a nice amount of water on your brush, not more paint than water, because we want it to kind of go translucent a little bit, okay? And so we add, just start dabbing it on, talking about right to left, you want them to go into one light direction. And since this, or one direction, one, um, dire one motion left to right, and the water will help because it'll dry a little bit more translucent. We don't we want it to look nice and fluffy in the sky. We can put another one on this side. It can just basically be a line right out of the sun. I'll bring it closer so that you guys can see it better. Like how's Hayden doing? Who else is painting with us today, you guys? How are those star clouds looking? If you're not happy with them, oops. Just got so much paint all over my phone. Again, a wet rag will do wonders if you want to dab, dab some of your cloud away. Just dab away. 
can use a smaller brush if you want. Maybe the size of the brush is throwing you off. I truthfully don't remember how we did it last time, so we're just going for it. <laughs> just dab it in. Just dab it in. Kenzie, see, I need you around. You just get my references. There's always some TikTok things, too, that I always just bring out that I'm always embarrassed of because nobody knows what I'm talking about. Just like the, to you. Do you know what I mean when I say that, Kenzie? To you. <laughs> it's just this old folk. Here, should we put another nice star, or not star, cloud, just right over top. Remember, this is white with just a touch of yellow, and there is lots of water in your paintbrush. Just us old folk. I know, and I keep forgetting, I have to start updating my... TikTok more. It's dangerous, you guys. You're not on TikTok. You probably shouldn't get it because you'll just waste so much time. Dan had to delete it. Dan deleted it the other day, Kenzie. And I've sent him so many videos that I'm like, I keep forgetting he doesn't even have it. I know. Wow. I know. <laughs> Oops. What am I doing? You can't even see, so that's okay. <laughs> okay, you guys, so Kenzie had an older like microwave, you know, when they like yellow a little bit when you have like white appliances and they get into that like yellowed, that's the best way for me to describe it, yellowed color. They get a little stale, if you know what I'm saying. And Kenzie made a video of her like buying this cheap like spray paint that you can spray appliances with and she just made a cute little video of her doing it. And then people are just like, why don't you just buy a new one? And are just like yelling at her to buy, instead of repurposing a perfectly fine item, they're just like crapping on her for not buying new and being cheap. Isn't that weird? The internet's weird. <laughs> okay, so we're still going. We can still make some more clouds in there if you guys want. I don't know, some people get so stressed with clouds. And I don't want that to happen. We are gonna go in with pure white on top of them in one of our last steps. Cause right now, remember, there's some yellow in there. They're not just white, they're white with yellow. And they're just fluffy. We got some water in there, so they're nice and fluffy. You can even add some up here if you want. Like this one's just more yellow than white. And you're just dab, dabbing it in, just like Kenzie said. Check that out. It's so faint you can hardly see it. You can just see the shine of it. Whoop, whoop. How's that? How's them apples? I kind of feel like I need a little bit more red on this side. Keep on doing your little clouds for now. Oh, that's not good. Just yeah, and then there's even, back to TikTok, just talking about TikTok. There's so many videos that you like see or like that you would post that you would think would do so good when you see like what other videos are doing good and then they don't and it just doesn't make any sense. There's been more than once when Kenzie and I both have been like, <laughs> have literally been like, this is gonna make it. <laughs> and it doesn't, it doesn't make it. So it's just cause we're not, we're millennials. We're not Gen Z's. That's the problem. Hello God's girl. What a deja vu, hey, I'm back to painting this, uh, back to painting this sunset since last time. Yeah, Kenzie's right, we don't dance. Maybe that's the problem. Should we dance? Like, should we dance? Huh? Should we? I don't know. You love the outfit. 10 out of 10. Why, thank you. Appreciate it. For the glove? <laughs> The glove won't last for long, you guys, I promise. Hello, kiddo. How you doing? Yeah, I know. Every time people come, they're like, what's up with the glove? I just got my hand tattoos touched up today, so I can't, salt bay. Um, so I can't get paint in them. I don't want my tattoos to get infected. So, you know, I'm just gonna be Michael Jackson for the day. And Dresden was kind enough to point out 
on the anniversary of Michael Jackson's death, I have brought a black glove without even knowing. Just a little ode to the OG. <laughs> okay. But I guess everyone that comes in are probably like, what in the, what's that girl up to? <laughs> Just a salty bay. Okay. We've got some clouds going, right? The lighter clouds. We are going to go in with darker clouds as well, but we're just going to put a couple little light ones in first. And then like I said, we're going to try this we're going to try the water a little bit differently than we did last time. A little people got law really frustrated last time. But we are going to be getting into that black, white, and blue that we've got on our palettes, but I didn't have blue, so that's we're just putting that on there now. And we're gonna do some more clouds again. Do you guys hate clouds? Speak it to me. We're gonna be using again just a good old pointed brush. Wow. Me. And what I say about black, remember, it is the most powerful color in the toolbox. So we are going to start with a good chunk of white, a little chunk of blue and then literally the tiniest touch ever of black ever. Tiny. Just like, I don't know if you guys can see how, just a little meep. And the reason why you do it small is that you can assess then, then you can put in another little drop and another little drop. But if you put too much right away, it will be devastating to your color. Remember, everything should probably be like, before you start putting these clouds where we're about to put them, make sure your paint is dry, okay? You can fan it, you can blow it, you can a blow dry it. Whatever you wish, but don't put a completely different color like we are right now. Like it was nice to blend the um, reds, orange, and yellow because they're all in a very nice, similar, close color family. Then once you start mixing black on top, if it was still wet, it would get very muddy and just not happy for anyone. Okay, so realistically, we want to get this dark, bluey, grayish color is what we're going for. I'll bring it closer to you guys. Oops, I just touched myself. How's that? See that color? It can probably even be like a touch darker, but that's okay. Again, you can always make it darker if you need afterwards, that's fine. We are going to use lots of water on our brush, okay, you guys? Water is important in this one. Because we want it to be nice and translucent. Again, saying that word a lot today. So these ones are bigger. You can start by just making a line if you want of where your cloud's gonna go. You're gonna still use that watery concoction and kind of pull it up. There's kind of, you're gonna notice like a bead of paint almost at the bottom of that line that you made. And that's kind of what you're gonna be playing with here. You're just gonna pull that up, circle it around. Make it look fluffy, make it look bigger in some spots. You can dab it. I'm gonna show you up close so you can see like how much water is in there so that it's very like, that's gonna dry a lot lighter than that because it's more water than paint. How's that feel? I just always make them like thin out at the bottom different types of clouds and what they're called and everything but I don't my dad's a pilot I remember he taught me when I was young but that's she gone now and 
why don't we just toss like sure let's just do a little lined one right here maybe how's that got a couple little lumps in there Oops. I just remember in a lot of my streams, people like hate clouds. Probably because I teach them like, just slob some paint around. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay, let's go one more on top of that one. And again, water's your friend. We want it to be translucent because if they went on as thick and opaque, it would not look like a cloud. You'd be like, what's that big shape? That ship in the sky or something, right? Let's bring this one all the way. Ooh, that's a long one. And again, it's okay if it's not a straight line. Like, clouds wouldn't be straight, would they? Some of them are, but not all of them are. We always talk about things in nature being irregular, not symmetrical. I think it's important to try to break away from trying to make it look perfect and exact, like a Pixar cloud or something. And it might feel aggressive that these clouds are so dark, but once you see the whole picture, right, like when you, all of our shapes other than the sky is just pure black, it's kind of nice to have this lighter color. Um, this lighter, darker color to differentiate from. And here's one more, why not? I wonder if Rosie's gonna do this one. She, uh, I don't know if we've ever done just like a landscapey one with her before. How's that for clouds? Oops, I didn't mean for that, whatever. All right, I'll leave it, I'll bring it closer for a second. Let me see. Okay. See close up, see, so it's kind of like trans translucent is the best way for me to say it. You can still see some of that red behind those clouds. And again, if it's a little bit too thick or maybe you didn't put a lot of water or you aren't happy, again, you can go in with a wet rag and you can literally just like dab, 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 dab. You might need to, what I'm doing here when I go like this is I'm like wiping off the excess paint off that fingertip that I just uh, used to dab away some paint. Right, what else did we do? I think that was it for that. Okay. We still have that blue, gray, whatever we just made to make those clouds, right? I'm just gonna use a little brush. The same brush we were using already, that works. Oh. And like I said, it's okay if you lost sight of this uh, center horizon line that we've done already, right? There, it should be roughly around there. You don't have to make that line if you don't want. Like I said, now we know that water is below that line. So for sure, for sure, for sure, anytime now, anything, we kind of were already doing that already, but every time we lay anything down on this bottom part, um, before we put the people on it, it's always gonna be a horizontal line. It's always gonna be left to right, no matter what. We don't want any of these lines going up and down because then it wouldn't really show that like reflecty water look that we're going to through two, four, what we're going to look Four. <laughs> okay. And we're first just going to start same concoction as up here. And just close to this horizon line, we're going to make a couple little lines of this color. 
Okay. And look, I'm going just left to right. I'm not going to go directly underneath where the sun is because that's a nice reflection. You always want to be able to see the color underneath. I'll bring it close so you guys can see. It's going to feel a little weird because it's the gray color on top of the water. But we want these lines to be nice and thin, nice and dainty. See how that works? Or see how that looks, I guess. It's okay, there's lots of water on your paintbrush. <sighs> this is okay if it's a little translucent. Again, it's water. We're trying to imply that, right? And another way that's good to show space receding or distance on a flat surface will be that these little lines are going to appear way closer together. And as they get closer to us in space, they're going to be farther apart and bigger. And that'll just kind of like trick the eye into thinking that there is a, you can go into this painting, if that makes sense. So let's be conscious of what I just said, right? So as we go down a little bit, let's just do a couple little lines. But farther apart. And once we get, oops, ignore that one. Whoop. Once we get closer down to the bottom, the lines can be bigger and a little bit farther apart. And it's okay if they're a little crazy and sporadic at this point, because we're not going to be doing loads of these colors. This is the change that I'm going to do from last time, from what people got frustrated with. We're going to do a lot of the other colors that we have going on like this to imply that water. All right. And see, like, I haven't loaded my brush in a long time. I haven't went back in and put more paint on it. So the more brush strokes that I do, it's kind of like the lighter and more, like, sandpapery um, the brush strokes look. Oh, my gosh, I just almost dropped it. Do you guys see what I mean with that? I left kind of a nice hole where the sun is. I feel like this glove's making me hotter, like my hand can't sweat or something. We are gonna go right into pure black here in a second. I'll try not to yawn and keep you guys yawning like I did last time. And isn't it so weird how bright it is in here still? Usually, I've been doing this the same time every time and it's usually dark by now, but now it's summertime. It doesn't get dark till like 10.30. It's about 9.05 p.m. right now. My studio just doesn't look as cool in the light time. Even though my, in the light time, not even the daytime, in the light time. So you guys ready to go to black or how are we feeling? I'm just cruising along cause I'm not hearing any yays or nays. So I'm just, Assuming it's in, yay. Okay. I'm still using that same brush that we've been using this whole time, basically. Okay, whew. The yawns are real. And we're going just to pure black, you guys. Black is our friend right now. We don't want to mix any color in with it. We mostly just want a nice mixture of water to paint on your brush. Some people might want to use a ruler. That's totally up to you. Rulers ain't, I ain't about that life. <laughs> but some people might prefer it that way. I personally have to hold my breath when I do this line. So uh, don't mind me for a second here. Oh, and I already failed. Whoop. Not straight. There we go. 
And then this part is, again, completely up to you guys. Some people didn't want to do mountains. Some people didn't want to do trees. So that's why I did both down there. <laughs> but all that I suggest, whether you do mountains or whether you do trees, always kind of leave a little bit of a space, like whatever, around, around your sun, okay? Like kind of like cup it with your shape. So like I'm just gonna paint uh, whatever. There's a mountain. Here's another mountain. Maybe a little hilly. Whoop. We're just gonna color that in. I'm not really uh, worrying too much about detail. Sometimes when we do these silhou or not sometimes when we do these paintings where the shapes are just black and the silhouettes, um, it's kind of a nice. <laughs> It's a nice way to get a full image across because you don't have to, you just to skip so much detail, right? We don't have to draw, like, we don't have to do the snow caps or, like, the little, like, lines that a mountain would have, right? Like, you just literally color that in and people still know that it's a mountain. And then I'll do some trees over there. Whoop. Sound effects necessary, obviously. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. And Pinky's out, because, like I say always, I'm a lady. <laughs> okay. So we've got a mountain. We've got... Just in your sound effect, <laughs> yes. I'm glad that we have another sound effector in the room. I have a very hard time doing anything in my life without a good old sound effect or two. How's that? And like in the picture we did, I did a couple trees. They're literally just lines straight up. Oops, got some paint on my elbow. Here's a tree, there's a tree, everywhere is a tree, tree. Oh my gosh, I almost spilt. And there's a tree. So for me, the easiest way to do a tree is to just do one line out the bottom, or one line straight up, and then from each side you just erratically throw sh lines down. <laughs> I'll bring it close. <laughs> Until they get wider as they get to the bottom. But again, this is silhouette, remember? So it's like, who really cares? <laughs> Look at that one. There's one over there that I did with some pet not some petals, some pines on. <sighs> this song makes me sleepy. Nope, next. All right, you guys, how's our mountainous landscape? Let me see over here. Now, don't be stressed out, you guys, because it stressed out some people last time. But we will be going into the water with black, but with lots of water on our paintbrush, okay? Don't be stressed. But we want way more water than paint on our brush. Oops. Because we don't want it to go on like thick, 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 dark black. But we have to paint these reflections, right? the reflections of these mountains into the water. So with this super watered down black paint, same paintbrush, you are going to do the same thing. 
and just kind of lightly, we're going just left to right always. We want to see colors underneath. It doesn't have to be like a solid shape. Still doing these little lines that we've been doing before, except for that one isn't a line. And just kind of mock the shape of the mountain above you, right? Above you, above where you are painting the shadow. So see how it went up like this? So I'm gonna come down like that, like almost like it's a mirror, but just with a super watered down black paint. And if you put like, let's say you go to your palette or your canvas and you put your first little swipe down and you notice that there's more paint on your brush than water than you thought. You can still go in with a, another paintbrush. I mean, go in with the paintbrush with just water on it and just kind of pull it around. Painting and I look nice. Aw, thanks. Painting and me look nice. Casio. Thank you, my newbie pal. How's it going? I feel like I haven't seen your face around these parts for a while. We're just painting another scene again. We've done this once before. But see how this is kind of nicely adding in, adding a little bit of shadow onto our, a little bit of depth into our water. It's also okay if it's not perfect. You talk too much and didn't want to disturb the vibe. Hey, no, today not many people were talking so then I get awkward because I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> and I'm still just going and doing these little... How's it going in Newfoundland? Were you guys ever hugely, hugely affected? I can't, by COVID, I don't really know. So how's that, you guys? We've got some of that shadow in there. It's humid. I don't doubt that one bit. And if you want, you guys, you can keep just pulling these lines. These little black lines, you can pull a couple further into the water if you want. If you don't, don't worry about it. I'm downstairs, so it's not bad. Okay, well, that's good. I know the glove's weird, you guys. I know. I'll probably have it next stream. I probably will still have it, but after that, it'll be fine. You like it. Some artists do paint with gloves, always. Apparently some of the paint I work with is toxic, but you know, if anything should, if paint's the thing to kill me, I guess that's, that's what, that's how I'm going down. <laughs> You're downstairs and it's not bad, but you can feel the change going upstairs. Hey, I, I live on the 17th, 16th floor of an apartment building and our apartment is literally always boiling. And we're like, is it because hot air rises? Is it because everyone's around us? I don't know. <laughs> but you know what's crazy, actually? For Father's Day, you guys, this year, I uh, we ordered a bunch of lobsters from Nova Scotia. And um, 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 they, how many did we get? About like 16 pounds of lobster. And they were caught in the morning and flown to us live. It was crazy. Who do we got here? Madge. Hello. At least you're not that late. Hey, you know, nothing wrong with that. How's it going 1k with no streams? Hello. Um, who's the drawing in the back beside the, oh, I didn't even see that you guys could see that. Oh, it's Marilyn Manson. Almost, he's not done yet. This is in the process. He's pretty close though, coming along, right? My painting looks good, you guys, thanks. Please tell me they were sitting in business class with their newspapers, the lobsters. I, I wish they were, I wish they were. 
<laughs> they were ginormous, like four pound, like a four pound lobster, you guys. We had lobster for days. Um, okay. So we've got that on there. Do you, are you guys ready? Um, one thing, like I said, that I'm gonna do different. If you see in the picture at the bottom, we kind of really pushed this gray a lot. And that's what stressed people out the most last time. So I'm thinking what might be a little bit better to do, again, if you want to, keep on going with the dark grays like I have on there. But you can also go in with like red, like you can go back to those original colors that we started with, if I can find them again. Get in there. And uh, you can do the same thing with some red paint. You can bring some of these lines across too and keep making that watery texture if you want, right? Um, oh, I missed a couple of things. The painting looks really good. Thank you, 1K. I appreciate that. How long have I been painting? That's a question I get all the time, hey? Forever. Like, I know that's like an annoying thing to say, but as long as I can remember, I have been painting. Um, it's been my full-time job for five, almost six years now, which is pretty crazy to think about. Um... I'm just showing you guys how we can pull that water more. You can even go in with your orange and put over some of those lines. Does the mainland get much humi uh, humidity? <laughs> no. Um, we are, Calgary is the driest. Like you would shrivel up as an East Coaster in Calgary. I promise you. <laughs> Yeah, no, she's dry. Yeah, like SpongeBob, just like that. <laughs> okay, again, guys, I'm just going in with like orange. Just doing this good old swipey effect just to add some fun in there. But like I said, if you see on the bottom, I pulled a lot of that gray through. Just some people were not happy with that, so I'm gonna give you guys the choices this time. I'll do both, but you can decide. And then we are going to paint the boat. Um, take Bob Ross if you never passed and you got your answer. <laughs> hey, Bob, and she's right, though. Bob Ross taught me many, many things as a child. I remember just, like, not even painting along, but just, like, watching and soaking up everything that he was saying as a wee babe. Okay, okay. Ready for a boat? We can't do the boat yet though, sorry. We gotta wait for that to dry. So, as you guys keep picking away, I'll just go back in with that gray blue and do a couple in case people are still doing the gray. I don't know. But even Casillo, back to your humidity question. What's really funny is, so, we, I live in Calgary and my siblings or my sister lives in Edmonton and uh, we're like four hours away. And we just bought an air conditioner off of her and uh, just like a portable air conditioner. Oh, what am I doing? And it's one that you're like, the old one you're supposed to drain it every like day or so because it would collect a lot of water, right? But she in Edmonton would have to even call, like drain it way more because the humidity vers there versus here still way less than what you have. But Calgary's just this little dry pit, <laughs> pit of death. <laughs> so here I'm going in with the gray just in case some people want to do some grays and see how it looks. But again, don't forget, always go left to right, make the lines appear bigger and farther apart from each other the further down the page that you get. And then let's paint that boat. We just for sure need the ground to be dry before um, you. we want to put that little boat in there. Okay, so just for reference, you guys, Casilla lives over east, uh, oh, sorry, I guess I shouldn't tell you where they live, but east of the country that I live in, by the ocean. 
He lives by an ocean, okay? And we don't live anywhere near an ocean. We're very mainland Canada. And uh, he's saying when he walks upstairs from the basement, you can feel, you can like feel it getting moist. And that's mind blowing to me. That's mind blowing to me. And that's why for us, like, New York, for example, it's by an ocean, right? It's very humid. Um, but it gets cold, too. It gets cold there, very cold. And when we went, we thought that we got cold over here, but there, it's because it's humid cold that it, like, chills your bones. Like, literally to the bone cold. It feels different. It could be the same temperature, like, degrees-wise, but if it's humid versus not, it's a whole other feeling. Okay, so don't worry, you guys. Scientists say we're 70% water. Yeah, there you go. Um, uh, don't worry here. We do put a little sun in here. Don't worry. That does come. But I just always try to do um, as little as steps as possible. So when we take out the white, we'll do white everywhere that we can. So at this part, we are about to do the boat. Last time it went okay. So I'm hoping that it does today as well. We are going to get pure black, and if, like I said, if this isn't dry yet, maybe just watch me first, or give it a blow dryer, you know the deal. I described you as being by the water, I don't know. Realistically, you're closer to the water than I am. <laughs> okay, we are using black, but we don't need to use that really watered concoction. We want it to be pretty, uh, pretty thick, more paint than water. And let's pick where you wanna put that boat at. Let's decide, let's just right here, sure. And you're gonna start by just a line, straight across. This is the bottom of the boat, okay? Beep. It doesn't have to be that thick, that was me just trying to fix it, but. And then on one edge, on the back end, you're just gonna make a line go up and out a tiny bit, but very small line. And the same with this side, but you're gonna make it go up and out, like bowed outside, right? For making the edges of the boat, but you're gonna make this one higher than the one on the left hand side, okay? Important. 15, 20 minute drive, and you got St. John's Harbor. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful and jealous. <laughs> okay. And then you're gonna just a tiny little line. Look at that. Easy peasy. And you're just gonna draw a line straight up and over that a tiny touch. Again, tell me if I'm going too fast. See where we're at right now? The ocean's part of our identity, whether you like it or not. You are right, and look, this painting is perfect for you, then. this You should be following along to gift this to a fisherman that may be in your family, I'm just assuming. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just because you live there doesn't mean that you only have fishermen in your family. <laughs> we're just gonna bring that bottom little nub line we drew, and we're gonna do it all the way here. All the way up. Is that a boat, guys? Does it look like a boat? 1K, you said you would follow along, but you don't have the supplies and you're bad at painting. Well, understandable about the supplies. That's okay. But the bad at painting part, I don't, I'm not going to put up with that. That's why I do these, is so that people who don't know how to paint can paint. We do it nice and easy. You can go onto my YouTube, which is the same. Where am I going over here? Same as my Instagram, same as my caffeine, Tatayski. And we record all these, and they're on there for you to try at your own will if you want. This one's a little different. This one's hard to do without paint, but there's a lot of other ones that I've posted that you could do with some pencils and markers if you want, or you don't even have to color it. But it teaches you how to draw, and that's always fun. Let's color in that boat, guys. Easy peasy. Your parents kind, or your grandparents kind of worked at the fish plant back in the day. See, I didn't want it to be like, like, oops, I forgot about that today. Um, I didn't want to be, what is it, like, stare, like, throw a stereotype on you or anything. 
But I was like, I think it's fair of me to guess that somebody in your family may have took part in the fishing. Okay. Now we are going to draw. Again, some people decided not to put people in the boat. So this is completely up to you. Some people decided to put one person in the boat. Some even put three people on the boat. But I'll teach you how to do at least one, okay? And how did I teach you guys to do this? Let me take a look at this again. How did I teach ya? Okay, let's start. We're gonna do just the body. So we're just gonna draw a rectangle. It's gonna feel fun. This is his body. Good old rectangle. Easy, right? But we are going to just kind of bring the line over top of that rectangle. It looks like we kind of drew a t-shirt already, hey? Kinda, kinda like a t-shirt. You're gonna bring that line down. And we're gonna bring this line down. And then you're gonna change direction and bring it back down again. So we've got some arms there. But the best way to make it look a little bit more human is just to beef them up a little bit. Just make them a little bit thicker. What is that? Who knows? An elephant? It almost looks like that's like the like a boat. Like that's the part of the boat where people sit in to drive. But note, we're going to change it up on them, and you're just going to draw a little rectangle again. A little bit smaller than the shoulder width, right? You don't want his head to be too big. All right, there's a little head there. Thanks, 1K. Oh, and your pop has two boats. Oh, I love that you call your grandpa pop. Um, now let's bring a line straight on top of that head of his and just top it off with another rectangle. We just drew like four rectangles and we now have a father, a pop, a dad. It could be a woman. It doesn't have to be a man. I'll bring it close so you guys can see, but how's that? That's basically a dude, right? And when I did the kid, he's basically just the same idea, but you just do one rectangle and you can make him bow out a little bit on the sides. So he's not just a straight rectangle. One K's asking, what's my favorite color? My one favorite color is, well, pink. <laughs> just kidding. I love pink. Green's probably my favorite color, I would say. I do love a good green. Green and pink, those would be my faves. And then for this guy's head, you can give him a neck if you want, but you don't have to. Same thing, you can either do a circle or a rectangle on top of that little bowed rectangle we did, right? And the difference with this guy's hat is just instead of going a fully across, just come out one side. So he's got a little baseball cap. How's that? I made the dad a little Hulk smashy today, but what can you do? All I have, when I think of Tom Sawyer, I always think of, I know it's not only from Guitar Hero, <laughs> I know it's just a real song, but I think of, my name's Tom Sawyer, and I can like think of the piano, uh, the guitar keys to do it. 
Uh, oh, you too? Yeah, see, he's so good. Okay, you guys, we've got two people in that boat. And let's make a fishing rod just out of that dad's hand. Just from the bottom, you're just gonna make a line straight up. Straight up and out, whatever you'd like. And then, when you make the line right here, coming out of the fishing rod, Try and make it a little bit thinner than the fishing rod itself. So right, the fishing rod should be a bit thicker than the string that came out of it. Casile's hanging out in the peanut gallery with ya. I know for sure we have at least, cause I've got some pictures sent, we have at least eight people following along today. Usually we have quite a few more. Today's been a slow day, which is okay. That's what I was saying. I'm going to get better at telling you guys on like Sunday what the week's going to be like because that's just me being unorganized. But that one little line is as easy. You can leave that and people will know that it is a fishing rod. Or you can just make three lines out of it to imply those little hooks on there. Wait until I see Jenny and Jersey's. Yay, I can't wait. I always love seeing theirs. You've pondered doing it, Casile. You should try and do it like MS Paint, like Fats did. Okay, so that's basically it. You can put, some people put two fishing rods. You can do another fishing rod out of that guy's um, hand if you want. Um... And then we kind of have to do the same thing as we did up there with that super, super, super watered down black paint. You're gonna want to do that shadow down here as well, right? Because your eye would for sure catch that everything else has a shadow, but they don't, and it would just feel odd. So let's do some of these little swipies. What got me into painting? That's a good question. Um, so growing up, uh, my grandmother loved, I think I've talked about her before, this is her uh, table easel. My grandmother was an artist and she took classes and she just loved uh, doing it and letting everybody, like getting us grandkids to paint with her. Um, but also my brother was a very good artist at the time when we were younger and I was like just wanted to be like my brother and uh, I started drawing because of that too and um, and then we went to I always tell this story and my sister would probably hate it if she knew but uh, they're older than me both my siblings are older than me and we would do things like um, see you 1k <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks for stopping by welcome to the stream glad to have you for the first time um, so you guys know like Disney movies, like VHSs, um, my sister would trace them, like she would trace the VHS and, uh, I would just freehand draw them and I was like seven years younger than her and I think that's kind of where it started like clicking that I like had a, like a knack for it or whatever. And it's funny because my sister has no artistic anything, artistic any whatever uh, now or did she ever? Who knows? Um, and um, and then I just love like tracing. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. So which tracing isn't bad, but it's just another story. Um, so then always my whole life, like I just took two pencils. It was more drawing than painting. I used to be a drawer for most of my life sketchbooks, classes, I have ADD, so as a kid I would always doodle and like that would be my way of like focusing but I would always get in trouble to like pay attention, you know, like that type of thing. And I was just always the artistic friend who just loved like my little anxiety ridden child's brain calms down when I painted or drew or whatever. And then once I like really tried painting in high school and I saw that you could like make in like a swipe of a paintbrush could fill a whole spot instead of me having to like for like hours with a pencil like shade it I was like hooked to painting and I kind of like drawing kind of just went out of my uh uh 
drawing just kind of went away and painting became my number one. And I'm still a very drawing based painter, but that's, I just love like the speediness of it. It helped my like brain while I could just like knock out paintings quick and uh, play with color and like drips and painting just got more experimental and fun for me. Um, and then, yeah, and then now I, uh, now I paint for a living, you guys. I never in my life thought, growing up, never in my life thought that I would paint for a living. So it just kind of uh, it fell into, fell into my uh, lap a little bit, and then I just loved it so much. So uh, if I don't like something, I will not do it. So <laughs> I love painting so much that it just took over everything. And here I am teaching other people how to paint now, which is cool, hey, like full circle. Okay, okay. Here's another part that is completely up to you guys. These, what did we decide these were called? I can't remember what we said they were called, but these wispy things here. <laughs> Hand motions. <laughs> so if you look at the picture, there's these like, I like always, I was like, are they pussy willows? What are they, you guys? They look like wheat. I don't know what they're called. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what are these hand motions? Oh my gosh! Did you just give me another potato? Just in. You're just spoiling me again. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Just spoiling me. Dressed in. You sweet, sweet angel. Honestly, <laughs> I want you to paint along one day. Oh, here's the black. Oh, you guys, thank you. Honestly, thank you. <laughs> I could cry. You guys are so sweet. I'm so glad that people are doing them. Now we paint taters. <laughs> Bull rush. There we go. Anything, girl. I knew you'd help, you knew. So for the bull rush, still, we're black, using the black paint. We're using a skinnier brush, right? Just a little brush. And you're just literally gonna make some lines. Like, let's start from up there, let's make one here. You can make them flowing that way, you can make some straight up. Again, remember, water's your friend. If it's not pulling well, you can make some cross over each other. Some people didn't want to do these last time either, so again, totally up to you. Put a couple of the side here. How's that? How's that? Got some of the bull rush going. And then on a couple of them, the best way, let's see if I'll do this close, maybe you guys can see. Oh, I still just see that potato down there, Dresden, thank you. Honestly, it means the world. Okay, when we're doing these little like wheat looking things, we're just gonna go from side to side and just kind of pull out little, you can either poke them like little dots or you can pull them down if you wanna do like little wheat shapes. I did both of them on there. Boop, boop, boop. And then same on this side, maybe do a couple like that. Do, do, do. Do. Um, how long have I been painting on caffeine? So, I was in Europe for a month this summer, my boyfriend and I, and uh, literally on my, like at the airport on my way home, I found out about caffeine. I think it was just, I don't know if it was like a targeted ad or something. And then I found out that some people I knew knew about caffeine. And so right when I got home, September, I think, September of last year. September, October, I think is when I started. And I started doing mostly like paint and chills, which is what I'm, I'm kind of bringing those back next week, um, where I work on whatever I'm working on in the studio at the time. And then we just like hang out. It's just like this. I'm just not teaching you guys um, what I'm doing. I can, if you guys have questions here and there, of course I'll talk about it, but it's not like meant for people to follow along like that. 
It's just a little bit. It's like I'm at home painting and working anyway. Why wouldn't I just stream, right? Um, but then I was doing one paint night a week starting last November. Every Thursday, I think it was. And then, and more of you talking BS. <laughs> I love when we just all shoot. I was about to say, look at me, I always, I'm about to swear. But I love when we just gab on here. Um, but uh, once Corona hit and everybody was just home, that's when I started adding two. That's why I started doing Tuesday, Thursday, because the demand was very, very high. I think I had like over 100 people watching and painting along when we were doing um, the Yoda, the baby Yoda one. That was crazy. So now I think it'll be a little better whenever we'll cut it down to one so we'll have more people coming to just the one and just cause I don't really have the time, sorry everybody. And then um, I'll for sure do some more drawing ones too like how we did the South Park Satan one which was like pretty ridiculous content but the drawing aspect of it was pretty great. I think a lot of people liked the drawing and I liked the drawing. Um, so we'll probably sneak some drawing ones in there too. We drew South Park Satan. Go onto my YouTube <laughs> videos there. Okay, you guys, I'm just gabbing. We're on the last step of the painting and it is pure white is what we are doing, okay? How are we feeling? How are we feeling about a lot of the stuff here? See how it's kind of like classic me. We It's an easy way to imply detail very simply, right? We didn't really have to go too crazy in there. We don't have too many layers. Just a couple of these light lines are implying that there's some ripples in the water, right? So now we're going to go in with our pure white. And like I said, kind of our last step. Um, some of your water might be super dirty. I would maybe... Um, suggest for you to clean out your water so that it doesn't muck up your white. Sorry, I'm still festering with the South Park Satan bit I just learned about. So I don't know how many times you were here, Castile, but there's a girl, Lily, who usually comes to these. We actually went to art school together. And she hilariously always suggests that we paint Satan. Like, whenever I'm like, guys, what should we paint? She's like, Satan. <laughs> and then I was like, you guys, I can't, I can't teach you. Like, teaching you how to paint Satan is basically like teaching you how to paint a portrait. And that's, like, not going to ha I can't do that in an hour or two. You already love her. But then a bunch of people kept being like, I want to paint Satan. Like, so many people would go along with her. So then I was like, okay, why don't we do, like, South Park Satan? Because it's like a cartoon. And then we did it. <laughs> and for all y'all hearing this on my YouTube, it's there. Everyone's turned out great. Drawing is a lot less stressful for people. Because there's erasers, there's whatever, right? Like, it's less permanent and it's more accessible. So that's kind of why I want to do more drawing ones too, because more people, like everyone has a writing utensil at home. Oh, more than paint, right? So, yeah. Okay, we've got white on our paintbrushes and we've got a little bit of water in there and we are just going to go, remember water because we want the translucency of the white paint, but we're gonna go and remember the sun is our um, main light source, right? So when we're going on these clouds, we're gonna go on the bottom part of the cloud and we're just gonna dab a little bit of that white because that's where the sun is coming up, right? That's where the sun is giving the light. So we just kind of wanna show that reflection a little bit with a little touch of white underneath there. Oh, Lisa! Oh, and Daryl, you're both here, hello! Cute hand tattoos, thanks. I'll show them again at the end, you guys, for those of you who didn't see it, but um, the little Saturn that I got on my thumb is for my Daniel because he's my little spaceman. And uh, that's the one thing I see the most is my thumb. So that was kind of the main way, I mean, the first uh, thing that I thought of wanting to fill there. And my tattoo artist did a great job. So small and dainty and she killed it. I have very little hands. Okay, so I'm still kind of touching a little bit of white underneath this clouds because again remember we um, um, oh yeah of course you've seen them on Instagram right 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 um, but again back to this white light we are just showing where our light source is the Sun and just giving a little bit of depth in those clouds of ours 
Yeah, and then my other hand tattoo is just like a literally a straight line. I like had to, I messaged Steph and I was like, are you comfortable doing long straight lines? <laughs> Cause I'm not personally, I don't like drawing straight long lines. And she crushed it. Okay, so we still got that white and we're using a little baby, baby brush, okay? And again, translucent, put some water in there. You kind of want it to be see-through. But now we're gonna do some of where the sun would go. So again, like how we did the reflection of these uh, mountains in black, we've got this pure white on our brush and we're gonna come down. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you're still painting left to right, right? You're still doing little swipies. Uh, what am I looking at? It's over here. To kind of show, uh, to show that direct reflection into the water, right? I always use my finger to blend out some stuff. Maybe I should be using my gloved finger. Maybe that makes more sense. My hands are literally so sweaty in here. I can just feel it. <laughs> Okay, but look at that. Look at that nice little reflection. Oh, oh, my hand's wobbly. But see how it's not a solid shape? It's just... those lines that we've been doing throughout the whole piece. And you can bring a couple white swipies if you want throughout the piece a little bit, but you don't want them to be very sharp lines. You kind of want them to be a little bit fuzzed out. So that's with water, right? Water is your friend there. Sorry, I say that all the time. But I would not, um, I would not suggest to put white highlight behind the boat because the boat realistically should be blocking all of that sun color, right? Or sunlight that is coming through. See what I mean by just kind of like fuzzed out lines a little bit. Lisa, you've been wearing gloves all day? Yeah, it's, yeah, not fun. Earlier on the stream, I just took it off for a second to show my thumb and I was so sweaty that I couldn't even put it back on. <laughs> And now this step here is going to really make these guys pop. Um, just like what we did for those clouds at the top there, we want to do a nice little highlight line around these guys. And so that's like on the top of his... Ooh. Sorry, you know I have to hold my breath when I do that. On the top of the fishing rod, you can do it right through the line. Whoop. And then you're gonna pick the side of them that's facing the sun and you're gonna outline just at the, oh wow, look at my glove, <laughs> glove life. I can't wear gloves because I didn't even notice that I just spread a bunch of paint throughout there. But you are gonna go I'll show you where. Some of you might even prefer like tiny, like you might want to use like a tiny, tiny brush. Thank you, Lisa, for the prop there. You guys spoiling me as usual. So I'll show you guys what I meant by go on the outside of these guys. And you can really also use this time to kind of fix some of those shapes if you want. My good old whiteout technique where you just kind of paint into the shape a little bit or out of the shape a little bit. See what I mean there? So the sun is here. Here's the full shape and we're painting on the side that the sun is on the edge of that. I know that doesn't really make sense with the fishing rod that I did, but the fishing rod is a circle. So it's a little bit different. Um, it's grounded. And then see here on this side, I'm going to also put it down this side as well. But like, look how the difference of that white line just makes them pop so much more. It's crazy. You can kind of bring a little bit of a line from the boat behind the kid. There 
go. Check that out. Look at those little dudes fishing together. How's that, you guys? Is that basically what we're looking for here? I guess I didn't do it on those ones. You probably could do the white on uh, the Bullrush. Is that what we call it? Bullrush? Bullrush. Yep. How do we feel about them apples, you guys? I don't know why I felt so stressed that whole time. <laughs> I was stressed today. Let's put that on over. It's so crazy what you can't see. Like this isn't white. I, that's so much more orange on my screen or on my vision on my screen than on the screen. But oh, Tristan, you're just the best. You need to be my my hyper all the time. My hyper. My hype up. Hype man, is that what they call Hype man? Um, anything. You two, always so kind. Thanks, guys. Did I get any? I don't even think we got any send in pictures today. Or not any send in pictures, any uh, final photos here. Where's my mouse? Oh, a lot of people are messaging me about other stuff. Let's see. Oh, we've got the fans. We've got the video of Hayden on there. Let me see. Do I got anything else on here? Well, you guys are all just messaging me about my hand tattoos. You're so kind. Oops. Okay, guys, are we, I don't, this one last time too, also actually, also actually, um, a lot of people sent me them the next day because they worked on them for a really long time. Because you could blend forever, right? You can even bring some dark lines, like darker, oops, oops. Why do I feel like this song is not copyrighted? Okay. Again, you can bring some darker lines throughout here if you want to, like through the sun if you want. You don't have to. Bedtime. Beautiful. Hey, I guess I ended right before 10 today. Thanks, anything, always. Love happen, yeah. My good old regulars, gotta love you. Paige, thanks for the the flower. You guys just spoiling me over here. Thank you. Yeah, so I don't know, it seems like you guys all just killed it on your own. You didn't even need any questions. Oh my gosh, my hand is actually like wrinkly like like I was in the bath. <laughs> but you guys can see now what I got done today. So, so first I got my little Saturn on my thumb for Daniel. So cute. Oh, she did such a good job. So dainty and small. I won't even zoom in. I got it today. Yeah, I got the Saturn today. And then I've had some of these lines on my hands before, but she added one and two today. And I just love them. Like, how do you do a straight line on my hand like that? I just don't get it. But I'm just not somebody, like, I don't wear jewelry because I always forget to, like, put it back on if I take it off. Um, so I'm such, like, a like I've got my ear tattooed because then it's like, oh, it's like an earring. That's the same thing. And I have just like little chubby hands, so I like to decorate them. <laughs> but 
But that's why I wear the gloves when I paint a little bit, right? Because I don't want, I paint pretty messily. Like the glove itself was messy. So I didn't want to uh, get these infected. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, guys, I think we're done for the day. Maybe. Maybe, baby. I will be back on Tuesday, but I will be posting on the weekend my new schedule. Because like I said, I feel like I've been leaving you guys hanging. So how can you plan to come for a paint night if I haven't even told you what we're painting until like an hour before I paint it? I really want to do a cheeseburger. Would you guys want to paint a cheeseburger with me? Like if it looked like... Where's that picture I had? I think it's on here. It is on here. I'm just gonna take a picture of it. Yes to cheeseburger. Would you guys be here on Tuesday? Guys, should we paint that? I think it would be fun. It doesn't have to be like a meat burger. We can say it's a Beyond Beef burger if you want. I think we should do it. You'll be here for the cheeseburgers. Okay, Tuesday we're painting cheeseburgers. I'll post about it now. So here I was saying that I was only gonna do one paint night next week, but then I might do a cheeseburger and something else. Um, and we'll for sure do a drawing. Oh, and taco. Should we just have a, like a food day next week? I think, um, thanks for sharing your, ah, oh, thanks, Betsy. Um, uh, should we do burgers and tacos at the same time or should we do a burger day and a taco day and we're just fooding it out? Let me see a picture of a taco. Oh, we've got, there was a picture sent in. Oh, she went to bed already. Check that moonlight fishing, cause she already did the other one. Oh, look at you guys. Look, they did the, the hammock. I love it. Look at you guys go. Lounging in a hammock. Now that turned out beautiful. Beautiful. They are great. And I don't know, did I post last week's? No, I don't think I did. I've been really bad at the posting. You know where foodies, Kay, everybody's in for the food. I'm all over the place, but okay, we're going to do burgers and tacos next week. I like that. I like that. And then a drawing one will come soon. But like I said, drawing is like we can do characters, we can do animals. Like you guys send me, oh, right. We gotta see the birthday boys drawing or painting. Check that out. One and two. Great job, you guys. Look at that birthday celebration. I love it. They turned out great. Your blending's better than mine. <laughs> yeah, I love that. See, you know, COVID birthdays, you gotta do some different. I'm honored. Oops, that wasn't on purpose. I'm honored that you chose it to be with me and us together. That's so great. I love it. Okay, guys, well, we're set in stone. We are painting some burgers and some tacos. And like I said, send me in some suggestions if you guys want to draw something. I'll probably bring it to my Instagram. I'll make a poll about that too. But uh, drawing was fun for me. So did I try to paint on shoes? So I had one commission one time I had to paint. And it's funny because I wasn't allowed to share it for some reason. There was some like non-disclosure stuff with that. But I painted on some football like cleat shoes and it was very difficult <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you and even going back to like the tattoo artist today like the amount of times that like actually not as many times as you'd think but to draw out the straight line on my hand it's actually not a straight line but it's going over so many like bumpy parts that she has to like make it look straight like that i don't know how to do that i don't know how you guys do that i'm all about like painting flat <laughs> I know how to paint on a flat surface. <laughs> it looks right when it's flat, right? You always want a sloth picture on your Air Force Ones. Ooh, that's cool, but that would I would be too stressed. I, I'm not the right girl for you on that one. 
<laughs> I'd ruin them. <laughs> Remember how I always talk about my painting process is like painting over top my mistakes until they aren't mistakes anymore? So it's hard for me to do that <laughs> on not a canvas, you know? But, uh, hey, oh right, we've already painted a sloth. I was like, we could paint a sloth on here though, but we've already done that. Anyway, now I'm just tangenting. I'm just gabbing at you guys. Thanks for coming again. And for some of you who came twice doing the same one, Jersey and Jenny, always loving your, um, did I get it? Oh, here I am stressed that I just said your name wrong. Um, Jenny, Jenny and Jersey. Um, I love your freestyling as usual. And I still think about those cute little spiders that you guys painted that one time. I love that. Um, and other than that, I think we're done. What should my, my thumbnail be today? Can I fish? <laughs> I can edit a fishing rod into my hands. That's it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, guys. As you know, I'm always open for communication on my Instagram. If you ever want to send me a line about what to paint, suggestions, complaints. Hey, I don't know. Whatever you want. Let me know. Follow me on all the things. You know the drill. And uh, I will see you this Tuesday for sure, but I'll be coming at you with a new schedule or something. Some new stuff coming soon. Don't y'all worry. Okay? See you. Thank you, everybody, for staying with me. All the props. You guys are the best. Bye, Casile. Bye, Paige. Bye, Daryl. Bye, Lisa. Bye, Dresden. You guys are the best. See you.